Most people in America are familiar with what our rights are on and off our cell phones and our technology tools such as computers and ThinkPads or iPads or whatnot. The truth is, in America we have rights, and those rights are often being aided or abetted in a way that doesn't make sense. Now, if you don't know those words, then you need to think about your life. You have no rights to anyone else's life but your own. And when people cross over into that area, when they step across the line, and they step into your life, and they've not been officially ever invited into your life, I'm not talking about friends who've had breakdowns and then they get back together again. That is a typical cost of life. That people have misgivings, people have miscommunication, people have other people trying to involve themselves in their relationships and things get tainted, and that's immoral. But what I'm talking about are the people who you don't know at all. And if you met them, it might have been one fluke interaction, and beyond that, you never see them officially in any real relationship capacity. And maybe they're ancillary to their life, and then you might pass by this on um, on the street on occasion or even on a daily basis, but they're not technically in your life. Those people have to be very careful about what they're doing with their technology on you and against you. That is immoral. People in America have the right to be things, do things, and become things without some immoral person destroying our life. You see, there's all kinds of people in the world who like to do things, who like to play things, who like to become things in their mind. But it's not the same thing if someone actually did the work. 